Okay, welcome back to part three of creating a character counting site in Angular. In this whole series, we're going to create the same app in three different frameworks. So we're going to start with Angular. We're then going to try out creating this app in ASP.NET Core MVC. And then lastly, we're going to create it in Flask. And we're just going to have fun with this project. I think this is... Um, nothing to take too seriously. Hopefully though, you still learn something from it, but it's really something I, I thought would be fun and uh, could be good practice. So uh, what we did in the last video, if I remember correctly, we created a menu component. So up here, there isn't much of a menu. It's really just like a title bar. Uh, but if we wanted to, and I, I know I mentioned this in the last two videos, if you followed along, which if you haven't, go check out the playlist uh, that all these videos will be in. But I mentioned that we probably weren't going to have routing, and then I thought, why not? Because I feel like that's essential part to all three of these frameworks. How do we set up routing? So I want to at least have an about page. So eventually, we should have an about uh, link up here, which routes us to the event, or not event, the about component. And if that's a bunch of gibberish to you, don't worry. It'll make more sense when we finally do that. So we created this, I'm going to call it a title bar for now, but it's really our menu and we just have our component for our main application right here, our app component. And uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna put some kind of title here in the center and let's go ahead and look at doing that. So if I go back to the app component HTML, we no longer want this hello for my new app. Instead, character counter is what I'm going to say in this H1. And if we go back, we look at it, there it is, it's not very pretty, so let's add some styling to that via the app component CSS. And by the way, if I wanted to, I could hit F12 on my keyboard and we can bring in the Google uh, developer tools and if we go to elements and we look at this particular element, this H1, I can go ahead and put some styling down here so we can see what it looks like live versus you know coming up with it in, um, in Visual Studio. So first thing I wanna do, I wanna make it cursive. For some reason, um, that looks good to me. So font family, I'm going to set to cursive. And this is just gonna use whatever cursive default font Google Chrome uses. At least that's what I think it does. I'm assuming that's what it does. It's pretty close to the top, so let's give it some margin on the top. And I'll make that 50 pixels. Uh, let's make the font size a little larger. So I'll do that in 75 pixels. I think that looks a little bit better. And lastly, let's align this a little bit more in the center. So text align, center, just like that. So now it's in the center here. And what I can do is I can copy all these now, go back to our app component dot CSS file and dot H1 and give it all of those values. Nothing happened and I don't want to dot because it's not a class, it's just H1. There we go, that looks better. Cool, so we have some kind of like title in our app and then below, I want this big text area where the users can type in their string, paragraphs, I don't know, whatever it is they're wanting to count the characters of. So what I'll do in that case, and let's open up a new command prompt, is I'll create, let's cd to character count, the project, I'll create a new component for doing that. It's going to house our text area and allow the user to enter in their string. So ng generate, so gc component, and then whatever we want to name this, I'm just going to call it counter. Then on the left here, we see this new directory counter, and as I've been doing is just deleting the spec.ts file because we're not going to use it. And then let's go to the TypeScript, let's grab the selector, so app counter, and go back to the app component HTML, and I'm going to place this component right here. And now if we save and look at the app again, we see the default counter works, exclamation point. Okay, so let's look at our counter.html. I'm gonna remove this and put a div, and inside of this div, I'm going to put a text area. And here I'm just going to, for speed's sake, you can do this in you know, the counters, CSS, you can give this some kind of class or ID and then style it in the CSS file. But just for our sake, I'm going to do inline styling. So style, we're gonna give it a height of 500 pixels. And you can play around with these numbers if you're following along with whatever you think looks best. The width I'm making 100%. And I'm gonna give it some kind of Border. So border, if I can spell it right, border, 
style is solid. So now if we look at it, it looks like this. It's very close to the character count uh, title here, and it's also at the very edge. So I can do a little more styling. In this case, it's going to be of the div. Let's give it a width of auto. Padding left, I'm going to give 100 pixels so it's not right up against the left edge. And then the same thing we can do with the right, padding right. I might give it another 100 pixels. And then we can also give it a margin at the top. So margin top 100 pixels, just like that. Hopefully that looks good. And yeah, now it's not so close to the title here. And it's also uh, has some space between the two sides. And if I start typing, you know, nothing is going to happen because we haven't bound it to anything. And we also haven't counted the characters. I'm going to show you a few ways that we can do this. Uh, there's one really easy way. There's another way that shows off something in Angular. It's pretty useful. It shows off the getters and setters, which if you don't know, um, I think they're very useful. And maybe we're going to start out with that and then look at the easier method of counting all the characters in this particular text area. So that's all I'm going to do in this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about getters and setters. We're going to add that to this project. And every time we type into this text area, it's going to set a value in the TypeScript. And then when we go to display the character count, we're going to use that getter to get that value from the TypeScript, or more so the string, and then get the length of that string. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for that. I think it'll be important. And then after that, we'll show the easier way of doing this, but I just want to show getters and setters just because I think they'll be useful for you guys. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video, part four, and take care.